Hello everyone, welcome to JG Chemistry. Today we are going to learn Prelog's rule in stereochemistry. If you are familiar of Cram's rule, then you can go ahead with this video. Otherwise, you first watch Cram's rule. I have already recorded a video on it. Find the link of uh, Cram's rule in the description box of this video. Let's see Prelog's rule. So what are the prerequisite of the Prelox rule? You will be having an alpha keto esters along with the chiral alcohol having a small, medium and large group into it. The reagent will be given to you, a Grignard reagent and few conditions to pursue the mechanism for Prelox rule. The carbonyl which is a keto carbonyl, you will be having a R group here. The R group of the keto carbonyl should be anti to the large group of the alcohol. We will see this by taking one example. And the second is the stereochemistry. The entering nucleophile from your Grignard reagent will attack from the small group side. Means whatever stereochemistry of the small group is there, either it is below the plane or above the plane, the same stereochemistry will be there for your molecule entering nucleophile. Let's take this example. Now in this example you will see that uh, there is no alpha keto ester but instead they have given you the starting material to form it that is acid and alcohol which will form after condensation uh, this alpha keto esters. So you can notice here you have alpha keto acid along with that you have a chiral alcohol after condensation loss of water will occur and you will design the alpha keto esters. Now in this we have to see the large group of the chiral that is L here should be anti to the alkyl group of the keto group. So here you can see Me is anti to L we have to maintain this first condition. If it is not, then we have to do it after rotation and bring it anti position to the car carbonyl group of uh, this alkyl. For this you can notice the two groups OH and L are in plane while the medium group is below the plane and S the small group is above the plane. The same is stereochemistry we are mentioning in the product here that is alpha keto ester oxygen and ester oxygen and L is in the same plane while the medium group and S in the below and above the plane respectively. So this is the starting material. Now you will be having the Grignard reagent which will attack on the more electrophilic carbon. Now pH minus will act as a nucleophile. We have to see here we have two carbonyl one is a ketonic carbonyl, other is a ester carbonyl, which is more electrophilic. Now, if you notice, a double bond gives its electron to the oxygen, so the oxygen will get a negative charge and the carbon will get a positive charge. And this positive charge will be satisfied by the plus I effect of Me. While in other case, the ester carbonyl, carbon gets a positive charge which is stabilized by the lone pair of oxygen by plus M effect that is mesomeric effect and we know that the mesomeric effect is more powerful than inductive effect therefore this particular carbonyl carbon is more stable due to this resonance and so your ketonic carbon will be more electrophilic and reactive site and your nucleophile will attack respectively on the same carbon. Following the same stereochemistry like your small group is having here on the wedge line, same way your nucleophile will follow the same stereochemistry and your oxygen will go then below the plane. After hydrolysis you will be having OH, it will convert into alcohol. And finally it will break down into acid and the chiral alcohol which is regenerated here. You can notice the stereochemistry of this acid, alpha hydroxy acid is governed by the stereochemistry of the alcohol. And this is what about we have Prelog's rule. Another important thing if you note here, this is going to be the major compound. Major means you will be having along with this a minor product also. So a stereoselective product will be there, major and minor. 
minor will be your ph will be below the plane and oh is above the plane but if you notice in cramps rule the stereoselectivity is high being the chiral center adjacent to the induced chiral center but here in this you can notice a chiral center is away two atoms away from the your new stereo center so the distance is there therefore between the two stereo center you can notice the distance is there and therefore the stereo selectivity will be less here let's say if you are getting the major product around 45 percent or 55 percent then your minor product will be going to be 45 percent so 55 or 45 ratio as compared to your cramps product almost 80 to 20 ratio so stereo selectivity is less here in relox rule otherwise rest of the things are same you just have to maintain that the alkyl group of ketonic carbon should be anti 2 l and the stereochemistry of the nucleophile will be same as your chiral alcohol small group we'll take another example in this example you can notice you have alpha keto esters you have a grignard reagent so this is the condition fulfills for the prelox rule but in this we cannot able to find that your ph is nt2me which is your large group so we have to bring this ph which is a large group nt2me by rotation so that way we can do it by drawing the sawhorse confirmation here hydrogen is in plane ph is back side so we have written back side me is in front we have written that after 120 degree rotation we have to bring this ph to the h position so ph is coming on the h position hydrogen will come on me position and me will come on ph position that is on the back side and hydrogen will come in the front side so now you can note that we have written in flying wedge me on the back side and hydrogen on the front side writing the ph nt to me so this is the stereochemistry of your beta keto ester or alpha keto ester now you have grignard reagent the nucleophile will attack from the same side as your small group that is hydrogen wedge side and OMGBR will go below the plane which is later on converted to OH after hydrolysis you will get the preferred product acid where ET ethyl is above the plane OH is below the plane and you will regenerate the alcohol here so this is a major product minor will be there where the ET is below the plane and OH is above the plane so two products will be there major and minor stereoselectivity will be there so basically we have already counted this point that the selectivity of the Krabs rule is higher than the Prelox rule due to the long distance here between the two stereo center. The Prelox rule is very important for MSc students as well as for CSI net and GATE student as you can imagine at least one question based on either Krabs or Prelox rule. So keep practicing. Happy learning.